welcome to part four of Podcast Matchmakers, where we match podcast listeners with podcasts <laughs> of what they're looking for in their podcast. We do this via so many different ways, such as podcast review day, our podcast and YouTube channel, podcast audits, and so many other ways. And Podversary, our Podversary experience uh, calendar, our Podversary calendar experience. Mary, welcome back to part four. Thanks for being a trooper in all of these bits. It's nice to be here. <laughs> So in part one, we got, we met Mary initially, and we learned what kind of podcast she was looking for. In part two, we looked at the Twitter account of all three of the podcasts that we're trying to match her up with. And in part three, we actually listened to the audio clips from both the intros and somewhere in the middle of the podcast, because let's face it, if you're, if you're sampling a podcast, you might skip around a bit. And in this part, we're going to look at the episode titles and kind of get a feel for how Mary feels about these three and if she'll listen to any of them after we stop recording. So Mary, how are you feeling so far? Feeling good. There's a lot of moving parts and <sighs> things that I'm interested in and listening yeah. more. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how <laughs> Okay. Sounds good. So we've got uh, Mary requested podcasts from uh, Northeast or Southeast Asia, and we have one from Japan, or one about Japan, one about China, and one with uh, about Malaysia. Um, <laughs> uh, where do you want to start? Where do you want to go first? Uh, let's go reverse order from the last video. So let's start with the books. Okay. So again, we're going to just take a quick look. And let me know how fast I should scroll. If there's anything that jumps out at you, go ahead and read the episode title. And I'll just scroll down for maybe like halfway down and we'll just see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, poisonous plants and witchery. Ooh. Right. Okay. Oh, scrolling too fast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, there was one actually that uh, b -b 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 the one that says Adam Grant coping with stuff and rethinking season five episode five. Oh, okay, that seems interesting just because I only recently found out about Adam Grant, so I'm like, oh, I'd be I don't know who that is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna add that to my thing. Yay, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I will ask you about that later. All right, so let's <laughs> keep going. Ooh, feminist retelling. Was, yeah, awesome yep. Book. Just saw that one. Like, <laughs> pretty interesting. I'm like, wait, I'm not the guest here. Shh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How do you live the most charming coming of age read? They've got what some good episode mean? titles, yeah. right? Oh. Coming of age and family stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always interested in people's family stories. Mm -hmm. Uh, women who wrote, yeah, robots, aliens, and witches. <laughs> I listened that to that like one. It's fun really good. It was uh, so good. I remember the part of the park I was when I was listening to that. That's how good. <laughs> okay, so I think we've got a flavor for for the content yeah. in there. Yeah. So, any thoughts on does that change your impression that you got from the twitter profile on the audio and what you just saw uh it doesn't change too much but it does mm -hmm. uh provide me with more more insight into oh there could be some good potentials nice yeah and i think they're rather good at their titles those are intriguing okay so should we go to japan or china next let's go to china next Dun, da, da, da. Oh, that's a much bigger font. Yay. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one we listened to. Oh, the cost of beauty. Why the cosmetic surgery. So, yeah, I'd like to know mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. uh, promoting LGBTQ rights in today's China. That'd be very interesting to listen to. Mm -hmm. Davos has. Oh, steady, steady, now what? Yes, because it's always about, we gotta, it's all about academics and school right. and stuff growing up. So, yeah.
one couple, two systems. That'd be interesting. I'm like what mm. two systems? Hmm. Right. All right. So okay. That's yeah. Pretty far down. So does that change your impression of what you had from the other information? Um, kind of the same like before. It just mm -hmm. gives me more interest and intrigue into continuing to okay. uh, click play on those episode titles. I see a pattern. When you yes. normally find a new podcast, do you tend to scroll through the episode titles? Yes. Yep. Me too. All right. Japan. <laughs> Uncanny Japan is the name of the podcast. And these are the actual, you can't see the play buttons, but these are the podcast episodes. When you click on it, then it goes to the bigger page with right. the play, mm -hmm. the play button. I love the artwork in here. Oh, the sorry. artwork is great. <laughs> it is. Should I go to page two? Yes. But I think I have got a good idea just from seeing the first page adorable parasites living inside your spine <laughs> <laughs> i love how some of the things that caught my eye are the things you're pointing out i'm like yeah right <laughs> i did a double take on that picture i was like that's my spot oh okay yeah <laughs> there's one of the soba breaking off the pain of 2020 with noodles i'm like i like food <laughs> And there's a lot of yokai stuff, supernatural stuff, ghosty stuff, but I wasn't sure how how deep and dark you got, so I didn't pick the full right. supernatural yeah. spectrum when I picked the episode. So I went with the more delicate yokai. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So again, any different impressions from looking at the full range? Well, with this one, just because there is more supernatural stuff, and you're right, mm -hmm. I'm not really into that, so. In the first page that we went on, mm -hmm. a lot of the titles I wasn't really drawn to, also mm -hmm. because they were um, Japanese, so I didn't know what some of those things meant. Mm -hmm. uh, but like the adorably creepy tofu mm -hmm. kozo mm -hmm. site, <laughs> great. <laughs> uh, so I, I will hit play based on adorable titles like that. <laughs> Yeah, and it looks like she does have it labeled like that one's a yokai, Japanese superstition, Japanese folklore. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I think all three of these podcasts are really good at categorizing their episode, categorizing and labeling their episodes. Yeah. Although I am a Google podcast listener. Ah. So on Google Podcasts, I won't see her website with the the uncanny japan um that's true categories. The, those categories yeah yeah but the episode titles will still be yeah so i go same. strictly yeah. with the episode titles yeah yeah fair enough fair enough all right so da, 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 da. <laughs> of the three possible matches do you think you would and and you can be completely honest again because we're not saying good or bad or, or judging or giving right yeah numbers or anything like that but but what kind of which ones pulled you into the point where you think you might have a listen to an episode or two and, and see if they would make it into your rotation? Yeah, I'm a, a real audio person, as you know, help, helping people create podcasts, radio background. So it was when we were listening to all the, the episode mm -hmm. clips and that's when I I pretty much made a decision, I think, at okay. that point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it was also nice to talk with you through it about mm -hmm. especially the book one where I kind of had a wall put up about, oh, no, books. I have to go read all these books now after I listen to an episode. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's nice to know that, you know, you gave me that permission to, no, you don't have to read the books after. I'm like, okay, that's yeah. great. Um, I love the banter between the two of them. So mm -hmm. I might go back to that one um, just just if, I, if I'm interested in knowing more about uh, mm -hmm. new titles that come out or something like that, or I've seen a title, maybe I'll go to that podcast and see if they reviewed it. Mm -hmm. um, I do like the Uncanny Japan one just because some of those titles are really intriguing, like the adorable tofu thing. Uh, so I might go back and just listen to select episodes. Um, but I think my heart is still calling towards the woman. 
podcast just because it's China wow. and it's yes. although it's interview based, it still got me because I'm like, I want to know more about that history and what's right. happening now and from mm -hmm. the eyes of these young ladies. So um, I'm probably going to listen mostly to that one. Right. I get that. Yeah. And I think any of the three would be good choices um, to go with. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm actually um, going to subscribe yeah. to all three, but it's what? just, you know, what I'm actually going to listen to, I'm going right. to pick and choose, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, of course. It, you know what? Even at this point, I, I know, I'm, and I'm sure similar to you, I know about so many podcasts and I subscribe to so, subscribe or follow to so many that I do, I do not listen to every podcast of even my favorite episodes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the reality of being in the biz. Exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I was so nervous about this one because <laughs> it's only the second time we're doing this and I'm not quite sure. Like there's ones I gravitate towards, but I'm trying to keep in mind you and your preferences and those kinds of things. And I slid in an interview, a kind of interview <laughs> one. So I'm super relieved that that was not left on the cutting room floor and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. That was so much fun. Um, yeah. So Mary, before we go, can you remind folks where they can find you online? Yes. You can find me on my website, organizedsound.ca, organized with a Z or Z, Z Canadian. And, um, or it's organized sound productions for all the Instagram and all those other fun places. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being a podcast matchmaker. Thank you for finding these new shows for me to listen to now. <laughs> My pleasure. And uh, yeah, podcastmatchmakers.com is where you can find all of our episodes, information, services, and so on. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.